Dear all, welcome to this video. Please hit the subscribe button so that you automatically get updates for upcoming videos and lectures. Thank you. Enjoy watching. Today we will see the formulation of cold cream. Now a cream is can be defined as a formulation or made up of semi-solid emulsion. That is basically it is emulsion in nature. That is uh, O by W or W by O in nature. But the only difference between normal emulsion and cream is cream is in semi-solid form whereas emulsions are in liquid form. Then in addition to that what we are studying today is cold cream. Now since the cold cream is used in winter season to protect the screen from drying and to form a protective layer on the skin in order to prevent the loss of moisture from the skin. So uh, this cold cream what we will be preparing it is a W by O emulsion that is water in oil emulsion where oil is the external phase and water is the internal phase. So now we will see the composition of this cold cream. It usually contains beeswax which is a base component, white liquid paraffin which has an emollient property. Now what is emollient is it gives a oily texture to, your, to the formulation and when applied to the skin uh, it has two properties. It will provide moisture and it will form a layer on the skin due to which the loss of moisture is also prevented. Then a borax. Borax is an emulsifying agent. Now since cold cream is emulsion in nature, obviously some emulsifier will be required to stabilize this cream. Hence we are using this borax which, which is a water soluble emulsifier. Then we will be making uh, using methyl paraben and propyl paraben which both are used as a preservatives. Then purified water. Since it is a W by O emulsion, internal phase is water, so water will be required and perfume. Now, this formula has been calculated for 100 grams. We will be preparing 20 grams, so according to that, the formula has been changed. Now, uh, here you can see that the amount of uh, oil. Now, here in this formula, white liquid paraffin and beeswax forms the oil portion, that is oily phase. Whereas water, borax and these preservatives are going to form the aqueous piece. Now these are the requirements. Now as a perfume or just as a flavoring agent we are using rose oil. Then liquid paraffin, methyl paraben, beeswax, borax and propyl paraben. Now what is the procedure involved in the formation of cold cream? So first we will be preparing the oil phase. So oil phase will be prepared by melting the beeswax and liquid paraffin over a water bath with a glass rod until a homogeneous mixture is formed. Now both beeswax and liquid paraffin melt at 75 to 80 degrees Celsius. So we are going to heat it on a water bath and not on a direct flame to prevent overheating. So with this our oil phase is ready. Uh, care has to be taken that this oil phase that is the beaker containing both these components are to be kept in warm water so that they do not uh, again solidify because at room temperature these substances undergo solidification. Then in another beaker we will be adding water, methyl paraben, propyl paraben and porax and you will be heating it at about 75 degrees celsius and filter if necessary. So heating is required because uh, borax is not completely soluble in water so a slight heating is required. Now since our both the phases are ready you will be adding the oil phase into the aqueous space with continuous stirring and ensuring that the stable emulsion is on. So you will notice that once you are adding that oily phase, your watery phase is getting converted into white emulsion. Okay, and at the end, you will homogenize and cool the above mixture. Now, since you are adding the hot 
oily phase or warm oily phase into the liquid phase so you have to homogenize and allow that formulation or allow that cold cream to cool down so once it comes down to room temperature it will solidify and once it has solidified then you will be adding the perfume because if you are adding the perfume when the formulation is hot what will happen is this perfume that is rose oil it may get evaporated due to the heating and the formulation will not retain the perfume hence it is always uh, perfumes are to be added at room temperature now we will see the procedural video for formulation of cold cream now we will see the procedure for preparation of cold cream uh, we have taken liquid paraffin now we will add beeswax into it and we will melt this mixture on water bath until the homogeneous mixture is formed As you can see the beeswax has completely melted and the oily phase is ready for cold cream. Now we will add methyl paraben, propyl paraben and the borax into great amount of water. and heat it up to 75 degrees celsius for complete dissolution of the ingredients now we will add oil phase into water phase and stir it vigorously for complete dissolution Stabilization of emulsion and the formation of stable emulsion. One should ensure that the oil phase and water phase should not get separated. And for that reason, we are stirring it vigorously. So here you can see the cold cream is ready, which has been solidified at. Room temperature. Now here is the label which I have prepared for cold cream. Now so since the cold cream is a cosmetic formulation or cosmetic preparation, it is not necessary to mention the composition of the formulation. No API is present. So here we have just written the name cold cream. You can give the name according to your choice. Here the quantity is mentioned. Uh, then you have to mention the category of the formulation that whether it is emollient, protective, moisture retaining, then direction for use that is gently massage on your face to upward circular motion twice a day. For external use is important. This uh, indication has to be mentioned in bold, capital and red color. And here other details that is manufacturing license number, batch number, manufacturing date, expiry date, MRP and storage is to be mentioned. With this our cold cream formulation is ready. Thank you.